Okay, it's been about a day since I posted the garbage collector video. Let's check on the numbers to see how it's doing. 200 views in 24 hours, that's not bad. I wonder if anything's happening on the Discord this morning. Jesus Christ, you have got to be kidding me. So usually if I post a video on a topic that's about to blow up in my face, usually the universe at least has the courtesy to, like, let it wait a few weeks before that happens. For example, it's some sort of destructor that can be called when something is garbage collected, and unfortunately there is no way to do that automatically. And I don't believe Yo-Yo Games has plans to add destructors for to, um, to Game Maker any day soon. Not today. So less than 24 hours after, uh... After I posted the Garbage Collector video, in which I said, among other things, that uh, Game Maker does not provide built-in destructors, uh, one of my friends found a uh, a little a little undocumented feature in Game Maker that just so happens to be destructors, which run on structs when the Garbage Collector just picks them up and disposes of them. So I'm gonna create myself a few structs. Let's start out with some struct in some uh, some instances create event, and uh, we can just um. Actually, you know what, I'll make this, uh... I'll make this a proper constructor. Um, and then we can instantiate one of these. Right? And in, for example, the, um... Object 1 here, this object is just gonna hang on to this, to this uh, instantiated struct until pretty much the end of time. If I were to do something like if... Uh, when you hit when you hit some key, uh, some struct is just gonna be equal to undefined. Uh, when you do this, the struct is gonna be garbage collected. That's pretty much the premise of last of the last video, right? Nothing exciting is gonna happen. Uh, the game isn't going to really detect that that struct has been deleted in any, in any way, shape, or form. However, built into Game Maker, I believe it was determined that this was added uh, silently in two point three point six uh, for um, for use with specific layer effects in the background. There is a particular method you can define called uh, two at signs dispose and then two more at signs. And uh, normally Game Maker would not let you would not let you set a method name to this. Uh, the uh, the syntax checker will complain. Uh, you could put something like show message uh, goodbye in this function body. Uh, normally, you can't really define a method that looks like this or define any other symbol that looks like this because a uh, game maker will see these two at signs and not know what to do with it. However, uh, that doesn't mean that you can't have a method or a variable or anything else that looks like this. Uh, you do need to use the struct accessor to assign it. And you can do that with either the self keyword and then a word with the dollar sign and then um, typing this function name in strings and assigning assigning the function to this uh, struct property like this. Or you could do this after the fact. You could say some struct um, dollar sign at, at dispose at, at like this. And you could set that to some function. Hey. Uh, either way, they're both equivalent. So now if I were to run the game and if I were to hit the space bar, goodbye. Nikita, your timing could not have been more perfect, or I guess, depending on how cynical you are, less perfect. Uh, this is a destructor. So this is, um... The main thing that you would want to use this for is if you had something like a DS, um, list create, or a DS map create or something. Uh, you can maybe also say map equals DS map create. If you're feeling really, uh... If you're feeling a real disregard for memory on, on any given day, you can say surface equals surface create, give it some dimensions. The main use for this, at least the main use that I have for this, is to um, detect when a struct is garbage collected and um, like if, if it has any dynamic structures like a, a data structure or a surface or a buffer or something. Um, DS list destroy. DS map destroy. Uh, this kind of thing. If the surface, uh, if the surface um, is assigned something like this. And this will prevent memory leaks. If I were to run this in the debugger, uh, you would see the, uh, the existence of such uh, lists and maps and surfaces um, while the game is just running. But after I, uh, after I uh, hit the spacebar or any key, 
to uh, to delete the struct, uh, they will be cleared away. Um, let's see, where would surfaces surface was would live in a the surfaces tab? And this is just going to be this is just going to be empty. We have the application surface um, surface one, and we have the one that um the one thousand by one thousand surface that I created over here. Uh, it's just going to be empty. If I were to turn the game back on and I uh, hit hit some key on the keyboard and uh, pause it again and then refresh the surface list, we can see that surface zero is gone. Uh, likewise, uh, there should be a way to view data structures in the debugger somewhere. Nope, maybe there isn't. Anyway, that's the main thing that you would use destructors for. Um, obvious, at least I hope their obvious warnings apply. This is an undocumented feature. It's not like, it's important to the way that GameMaker works internally. So it's another one of those things that I, I would think have a low chance of changing um, under your feet, but all the same, I would still be careful with actually using this. If a piece of functionality is undocumented and obscured in such a way that you'd have to kind of go out of your way to um, to make use of it like this is, uh, it's probably for a reason. If you use this for anything other than just cleaning up data structures, uh, you run the risk of having bad things happen to your game. For example, if you were to, uh, in the destructor for one struct, if you were to uh, new struct type, if you were to inst instantiate your another one of these uh, structs like this, uh, you would have essentially a runaway, I guess you could call it a fork bomb of sorts, especially if you have more than one. Um, if you were to do something, uh, for example, in a loop like this in the destructor, you could obviously have your game slowed down, and you might find this difficult to debug. Speaking of which, what happens if you uh, if you if something errors in a destructor? Um, this I have not tested. If I were to do something like var value is going to equal, let's say like the log log two log two of like a negative number or something like that, something that will definitely cause an error. What will the uh, what will the stack trace actually point to? Does that nan? I thought, uh, is the log of a negative number nan in computers? I thought that was, I thought that was an error. It's nan. Um, boy, how do I, how do I create an error on purpose? I guess there's always the, uh, the old variable not found strategy. Okay, so it doesn't really, it just, it just points to the create event where the, uh, the line is defined. It doesn't say, like, what event it is, it's submitted from. All right, that makes sense. I guess. Anyway, that's what destructors are. If you have a struct that uh, creates like a dynamic structure, like a surface or a data structure or a buffer or something like that, go right ahead and use the destructors to uh, to clean those up when the struct is like removed from the game. If you want a somewhat safer and less undocumented way of doing this, weak references still exist. I still will be posting a video on weak references later. Please do not do anything with these that would make me regret posting this video. I know that this is something that people can and will abuse if they know they have access to. And if I had to guess, that's why it's undocumented in the first place. But who knows, maybe someday YoYo Games will promote this to like an official feature of Game Maker instead of something that just works under the hood. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Use your newfound powers wisely. My name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games. Uh, again, special special thanks to my friend Nick the Cat, who uh, some of you may recognize as the familiar that I that I carry around on my hat when I when I do the little comic things. He's the one who just happened to be playing with the yo, yo compiler a few days ago and just, as far as I know, coincidentally ran across this. I hope you all found this useful, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Zenjamin, Then Nothing Happens, Square Crow, Sindra Larson, Posho, Gunnar Clovis, Game Maker, Emily Coyo, Edward Hull. I don't know if this name has a pronunciation, so I'm just going to highlight it on the screen and Army Armbuster for supporting these videos. If you want to see your name in the credits or hear yourself shouted out at the end like this, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.